Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this simple math problem that many people actually get wrong. So right here we have 7 minus 7 divided by 7 minus 7. And to solve this problem, we need to use order of operations, also known as PEMDAS. P E M D A S. Now the parentheses, this or sorry, the P this stands for parentheses, the E this stands for exponents, the M this stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for subtraction, or sorry, addition, and S stands for subtraction. And this is the order which you want to solve a mathematical problem. You first start with whatever is in the parentheses, then you go to exponents, then you go to multiplication, then you go to division, then you go to addition, then you go to subtraction. However, multiplication and division, as well as addition and subtraction, these two depend on the order. So it's actually multiplication and division, and then it's addition and subtraction. Both of these are the same depending on the order. So whichever one comes first. For example, if I had 6 minus 3 plus 2, because subtraction comes first here when going from left to right, I would do subtraction first. So I would do 3 plus 2. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, in this case, if I have 5 plus 3 minus 7, I would do addition first because it comes first, right? So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now, let's try something a little harder. If I had 5 plus 3 divided by 2 times 3. So there are no parentheses, there are no exponents, so then I would go to multiplication and division. And as you can see, division comes before the multiplication here. So I would first do 3 divided by 2. So now I have 5 plus 3 over 2 times 3. And now I have multiplication. So now I do 3 over t 2 times 3, which is 9 over 2, and then I would add the 5. So now let's go ahead and try to solve this problem, 7 minus 7 divided by 7 minus 7. So I first go to the start of the PEMDAS, check for parentheses, there are no parentheses, then I go to the next one, exponents, there are no exponents, then I check for multiplication and division, and as I see, there are, there is multiplication, or sorry, division, 7 divided by 7. So now I have to do the division, 7 minus 7 divided by 7 is 1 minus 7. And now I check for multiplication and division again, there is none. So now I go down to addition and subtraction, and as I see, there is subtraction. 7 minus 1 and 1 minus 7. So I first do 7 minus 1, which is 6 minus 7. And 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So this is our answer. Guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation. So we have x factorial is equal to 10 factorial over 6 factorial. Now, 10 factorial, this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So it's equal to 10 multiplied by n minus 1 all the way up to 1. 
Now we are dividing this by six factorial, which is equal to six times five times four times three times two times one. Now, if you notice, we have six on our numerator as well as six on our denominator, so these two can cancel out. Same thing with five, same thing with four, and same thing with all the terms below six. So now all we're left with is simply 10 times nine times eight times seven. And this is equal to x factorial. Now 10, this is equal to five times two. Nine is equal to three times three. Eight is equal to four times two. And seven is just seven. We can't simplify that anymore. Now, we want to find all the numbers from 2 going up. So we already have 2, right? So 2 times, so we could cancel that out. Now we have a 3. So write 3. Now we have a 4. We have a 5. Now, we don't actually have a 6, however, 3 times 2 is 6. So then these two cancel out. And finally, we have a 7. So we could think of 1 times this, because 1 times anything itself. And as you can see, this is equal to 7 factorial, because it's 7 times 7 minus 1 times 7 minus 2, going on until 1. So this means that x is equal to 7.